hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math uh, my name is varakumar today we are going to solve a problem from fifth chapter quadratic equations uh, exercise 5.3 uh, tenth problem uh, see here what he is asking to find as uh, an express train takes one hour less than a passenger train to travel 132 kilometers between mysore and bangalore so here uh, without uh, taking into consideration the time they stop at intermediate stations if the average speed of the express train is 11 kilometers per hour more than that of the passenger train find the average speed of the two trains so here uh, the distance between the two places uh, Mysore and Bangalore is 132 kilometers he has given and the speed of the express train is 11 kmph more than the passenger train he has given then the express train takes one hour less than the passenger train to cover 132 kilometers so these things he has given so he is asking to find us the average speeds of the two trains so how can we find see here uh, the distance between Mysore and Bangalore equal to 132 kilometers he has given to us so let the speed of the passenger train be x kmph let the speed of the let the speed of the passenger train be x kmph then the speed of the express tra express train becomes then the speed of the express train equal to x plus 11 kmph why the speed of the express train is 11 kmph more than the passenger speed of the passenger train he has given so if it is x it becomes x plus 11 so next uh, time taken by the passenger train to travel 132 kilometers equal to generally we have time is equal to distance by speed that is the formula time equal to distance by speed so let it is t1 so here distance is 132 kilometers speed is x kmph so time becomes 132 by x hours let it is equation number one and the time taken by the express train to travel 132 kilometers let it is t2 is equal to again distance by speed so distance is 132 kilometers only but the speed of the express train is x plus 11 so how are so let it is equation number two but the distance the but the difference between the two times is one hour he has given so the difference between the two trains is one hour he is saying that express train takes one hour less than the passenger train he is saying so the difference between them is one hour that is t1 minus t2 is equal to one so here t1 is 132 by x minus t2 is 132 by x plus 11 is equal to 1 so from equations 1 and 2 So since from equations 1 and 2, t1 is equal to 132 by x, t2 equal to 132 by x plus 1 is equal to 1. So by simplifying it, we can get a quadratic equation. So see here first, just we have to find LCM here. So it is 132 into x plus 1. We get 132 into x plus 11 minus here 132 into x 132 into x uh, divided by x into x plus 11 x into x plus 11 is equal to 1 so just to see here uh, find lcm here x into x plus 11 is the lcm so 132 into x plus 11 minus 132 into x is equal to 1 so now just we have to multiply by 132 here uh, see here what we get so multiply by 132 here we get 132 into x 132x uh, see here uh, 132x 132 into 11 plus 1452 1452 so here minus 132x right as usual minus 132x 
uh, divided by x multiply by x here x into x we get x square plus x into 11 11 x is equal to 1 so write 1 as usual well. so here plus 132 x minus 132 x gets cancelled so now take x square into 11 x to the right side so now here we have only 1452 1452 on the left hand side so here it multiplies 1 into x square plus 11 we get x square plus 11 x so here uh, just uh, these two are gets cancelled plus and minus terms so here 1452 is there take x square plus 11 x to the right side here it multiplies 1 into x square plus 11 x so we get x square plus 11 x so now take this term to the right side here already x square plus 11 x is there x square plus 11 x so here 1452 becomes minus 1452 is equal to 0 so now it is a quadratic equation which is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so here the x square coefficient is 1 x coefficient is 11 and the constant is minus 1452 so by factorization we have to find the factors so we have to multiply the coefficient of x square by the constant uh, that is 1 into minus 1452 1 into minus 1452 we get uh, minus 1452 so now we have to select two factors uh, for minus 1452 but here the condition is uh, their product should be minus 1452 and their sum should be plus 11 so now i am taking these two are the factors so plus 44 into minus 33 so we get minus 1452 and uh, 44 minus 33 is plus 11 so these two are the factors so see here now we can write x square right as usual but this plus 11 x right as plus 44 x minus 33 x write this minus 1452 is equal to 0 so just i have written plus 11 x as plus 44 x minus 33 x so in the first two terms x is common so if we take x as common here x here plus 44 is there so in the last two terms we get minus 33 as common so here x will be here again plus 44 is equal to 0 so again x plus 44 is common here so take if you take x plus 44 as common so x plus 44 here x is there here minus 33 is there is equal to 0 so here x plus 44 equal to 0 or x minus 33 equal to 0 we get uh, x plus 44 equal to 0 or x minus 33 equal to 0 so now take plus 44 to the right side we get either x is equal to minus 44 x is equal to minus 44 or x is equal to take minus 33 to the right side we get x is equal to plus 33 so now we have two values for x one is minus 44 and the other is plus 33 so see here what is x actually x is the speed of the train so it must be positive always so here x is equal to 33 is correct since x is the speed so see here since x is the speed of the train it must be positive always therefore x is equal to 33 so if x is equal to 33 then x plus 11 equal to c here so now we have if x is equal to 33 then x plus 11 equal to 33 plus 11 that is 44 so here x is the speed of the passenger train and x plus 11 is the speed of the express train therefore the speeds of the two, two trains equal to 33 kmph and 44 kmph so he is asking to find us find the average speed of the two trains therefore so therefore the average speed of the passenger train is equal to 33 kmph and that of express train equal to 44 kmph so like this we can find so this is a 10th problem in exercise 5.3 next we have to solve 11th problem this is 11th problem in exercise 5.3 
see here what he has given sum of the areas of two squares is 468 meter square if the difference of their perimeters is 24 meter find the sides of the two squares so here he has given the sum of the areas of two squares so difference between their perimeters is 24 so from this we can understand that the uh, two squares are one is larger and the smaller other is smaller uh, we can understand from the perimeters since their perimeter is 24 meters uh, we can understand that the a uh, the squares are not equal one is a uh, larger and the other is smaller so let this is the larger square and this is the smaller square so here uh, he is asking to find the sides of the two squares so let the side of the larger square so in the square the sides of all the four sides are in a square the all the four sides are equal so if one side is x then the other all the three becomes x so these are the sides of the uh, larger square so perimeter of the larger square becomes sum of all the four sides that is 4x so let the side of the larger square be x meters a perimeter of the larger square is 4 into side so we have to add all the lengths of all the sides x plus x plus x that is 4x meters so but he has given difference between the perimeters of the two squares is 24 meters so here uh, perimeter of the smaller square becomes uh, perimeter of the larger square minus 24 since the difference is 24 since the difference between the perimeters of the two squares is 24 he has given and we have the perimeter of the larger square is uh, uh, 4x so to get the perimeter of the smaller square we have to subtract 24 from the perimeter of the larger square so that is 4x minus 24 uh, see here uh, then this is the perimeter so perimeter means the length of all the four side to get the side of the smaller square we have to divide by 4 therefore side of the smaller square equal to perimeter by 4 that is 4x minus 24 by 4 so here 4 is common we can get x minus 6 so 4 4 gets cancelled we can get x minus 6 is the side of the smaller square so here if x minus 6 is a side of the smaller square then area of the smaller square becomes x minus 6 whole square so area of the square is side into side so x minus 6 into x minus 6 is x minus 6 whole square and the area of the larger square is x square that is side into side x into x is x square so but uh, the sum of the areas of the two squares equal to 468 meter square he has given so this is the area of the larger square this is the area of the smaller square so sum means we have to add that is x square plus x minus 6 whole square is equal to 468 so here uh, just we have to uh, simplify so write x square as usual so see here right x square but this it is in the form a minus b whole square a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square so i am expanding uh, a square is x square minus 2ab 2 into x into 6 plus b square that is 6 square is equal to 468 so just you have to simplify further uh, write x square plus x square x square plus x square is 2x square so here 2 into x into 6 so we get a 12x so here right plus 36 so now take 468 to the left side it becomes minus 468 is equal to 0 so here right 2x square minus 12x so here plus 36 minus 468 we get minus 432 is equal to 0 so 2x square minus 2x minus 432 is equal to 0 so now 2 is we can take 2 as common here uh, so here uh, 2x square minus 2x minus 432 equal to 0 we can take 2 as common so see here what we get if we take 2 as common so here we have x square so here minus 6x minus 216 is equal to 0 take this 2 to the right side finally we get uh, x square 
minus 6x minus 216 is equal to 0. So now here if you take 2 to the right side it becomes 0 by 2 is 0 only. So it is a quadratic equation which is in the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So here x square coefficient is 1, x coefficient is minus 6, constant is minus 216. So by finding the factors we have to solve it. So here we have to multiply the coefficient of x square by the constant. So that is 1 into minus 216 is equal to minus 216. So now we have to find two factors for minus 216. But the condition is uh, their product should be minus 216 and their sum should be minus 6. So I am selecting minus 18 and plus 12. Minus 18 into plus 12 is minus 216 and uh, minus 18 plus 12 is equal to minus 6. So now we can write. Uh, write this x square as usual but this minus 6x can be written as minus 18x plus 12x and write minus 216 is equal to 0. So just I have written minus 6x as the sum of minus 18x plus 12x. So here x is common in the first two terms if we take x as common so here x here minus 18 will be so in the last two terms plus 12 is common. So again here we get x here minus 18 is equal to 0. So again x minus 18 is common. So right take x minus 18 is common. So we get x minus 18 into here x is there. Here plus 12 is there is equal to 0. So now we get x minus 18 equal to 0. Or x plus 12 equal to 0. So take minus 18 to the right side we get x is equal to 18 or here, here also take plus 12 to the right side we get x is equal to minus 12. So now we have two values for x so one is 18 and the other is minus 12. So actually x is what a side of the larger square. So the side of the larger square side of the square must be positive always sir. therefore x is 18 only. So since x is the side of the square, it must be positive always. Therefore, positive value is 18 here. Therefore, x equal to 18. So if x is equal to 18, we have to find x minus 6. So see here if x is so if x equal to 18, then x minus 6 is 18 minus 6 is 12. Therefore, x minus 6 is the side of the smaller square and x is the side of the larger square. Therefore, the side of the smaller square is 12 meters and the side of the larger square is 18 meters uh, therefore the side of the smaller square equal to 12 meters and the side of the larger square equal to 18 meters uh, so this is a 11th problem in exercise 5.3 so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with another problem thanks for watching